China, the world's second largest energy consumer after the United States, announced yesterday the discovery of massive new natural gas fields in the South China Sea. China has notified the world that the South China Sea is now closed to all non-Chinese warships. The United States and other nations have issued strong protest over this action and have vowed to challenge China's right to restrict access to this important body of water. The carrier battle group is dispatched to the South China Seas to test navigational freedom. The Chinese would attempt to detect and track the carrier battle group as far out as 3,000 kilometers using their over the horizon radar or OTH. The OTH works by bouncing its signal off the ionosphere to look over the curvature of the Earth to detect ships and aircraft at very long ranges. The Chinese have been working on these types of systems since the mid-1970s. Radar ocean surveillance satellites of the Yogan type will be cued as to where to search by the early warning obtained from the OTH track. Swarms of sensor equipped micro satellites launched when the OTH first detects the carrier battle group help refine target identification and positioning data in preparation for ASBM launch. Long endurance unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, are launched to further track the progress of the carrier battle group. The order is given to initiate launch of a DF-21 anti-ship ballistic missile. Onboard synthetic aperture radar would image the ocean surface attempting to refine the final location of the carrier. The warhead during this phase receives continuous targeting updates from base via Chinese data relay satellites as it maneuvers to improve the precision of its terminal dive. Warheads seen here uses a fuel air explosive, FAE, to severely damage the carrier and prevent it from performing its mission. Alternate payloads include, could include, submunitions to render the flight deck unusable. In the second installment of this examination of the DF-21, we will explore the methods and tactics that would be used to defeat the Chinese ASBM. Visit our site for more information.